way. So, Kayla, you mentioned the Orange with a lot of injuries coming into today's match that have plagued them throughout the season. Big reason why they've gotten off to a slow start here. 2-11 and 11 on the year and 0-3 and in their first three matches in conference play. Going to Antonio, of course, with the first set. Fortunately, an error, but we will see a lot of wall sets her tonight. They depend on her. Uh, she'll get through a couple maybe nerves here to begin with, and then she'll start finding the court. Here's a look at... Some of the players, the Orange, are without, and all of those were expected to contribute here in 2023. They've had to adapt and make some changes. Sydney Waller dealing with a hip. Layla Smith, a veteran middle, was expected to be the starter. She's got a concussion. Clara Zarnovitska missing the year after a season-ending injury in her first workout. And so that's what Bakir Ganesharatnam has to deal with here in his second season at Syracuse. Players not exactly fully comfortable in the positions they're needed just yet, but trying to cope with those challenges. Yeah, definitely a lot of adversity that they have been facing so far this season. But they go back to Antonio with a great kill, getting them on the board. Melissa Burt is one of the veterans that fortunately has been able to stay healthy as their starting libero. Corey Stafford taking advantage of a couple free balls on that left side of the net for Pitt. But Syracuse going to get the points. You're early in set one. What'd you see there, Cameron? Yeah, I saw a little bit tight there. I, li I like the aggressiveness of Stafford going up and trying to get it. Just called over. Beautiful set from a KO to Monks for the kill. That one put a dent in the floor. Hello, Emma Monks. <laughs> Happy Sunday to you. Uh, an amazing pass to really set that up. Love that Lexus went first set to Emma Monks. Emma Monks did what she knew she needed to do. And if there's one thing Dan Fisher has talked to us about throughout this season, it is depth in just about every position on the floor. He's got multiple different options and see some of them on display with that last point. A KO, one of a few different Panther centers we've seen throughout the year. Emma Monks, of course, finished it off. And now after the last point, Panthers lead 4-2. Monks, the transfer from Michigan State in her first season. Another free ball taken advantage of by Stafford. Emma Monk sent her up. That's one of those plays where you kind of turn around and you just thank your server. Thanks for getting that over, that free ball kill for me. Great serve by Monks. Dan Fisher said did not expect to use her as much as he has, but injury to Bree Kelly, the Florida transfer early in the season in a match against Kentucky, leaves her out for the year with an ankle, and Emma Monks has had to step up in big ways, which she has done. Great out of system play here. Emma just missed that dig, but a great out of system play by Syracuse. Antonio getting the kill in the back corner. Emma Monks, player that Dan Fisher compared to Courtney Bazzario, Lecator member Manet, in terms of the fact that she's a transfer that had good experience already, but saw something in her that he thought could enhance her game even more by being in the Pittsburgh gym, practicing with this team, with this program, in their system. And he's really proud of the way she's come along. Absolutely. You see that a lot with Coach Dan, and I think that just speaks highly to him and his program, um, taking in players that have had experiences beforehand, no matter how old they are, taking them in and really turning them around. Good serve by Gabcock, and it just caught the line for the Panther point. Yeah, great serve. Tough to tough to take that one when it when it's serve is that close to the line. Uh, you kind of got to do what Syracuse does there and hope that it goes out. But man, that just barely gets it in. Yeah, great look by our crew there. Stafford and Wokolo once again a force at the net, but that time Syracuse responds. Going back to, you'll see uh, Antonia was on the right side there, not in her normal position in that rotation. It does not matter for Syracuse. They love using her, and that is exactly why. 
Coach Kanisha Ratnam talked about the fact that she's played at a high level representing her country, Antonio, but transitioning to the ACC is even a different step up that Antonio has had to take, but praises her for learning very quickly and improving very fast. She does it all with the ace. She's an important part of this team, especially when you consider the injuries. Absolutely. So makes it 7-5 after the ace here in the first set. And another good ace from Antonio. Yeah, that's a tricky serve. She takes it from a pretty high point, and then you notice it just drops right in front of our passers, um, which is tough, tough to read, tough to track, and tough to get to. That one grazes the top of the net. Panthers able to respond, send it over, thanks to Stafford and Dalton. Now the attack there from Zarya Haraswadi. Syracuse managing to get Pitt out of system here a little bit in the past couple of points, but that time a block is good for the Pittsburgh score. Chiamaka, great read. They set Antonio in the back row, and Chiamaka was there waiting for it, made a great move, shutting that rally down. Sent to the outside. That's Greta Schlichter on the outside for Syracuse, the 5'6 freshman. They brought her in as a libero, but because of those injuries, she's at 5'6, hitting on the outside for the orange. Nice attack there from Zaria Harris Wadi to bring it back to 8'7. Bakir Ganesharatnam said that everything was going to have to go perfect for the orange in order to beat Pitt, and they would need a lot of luck in the world on their side in order to get a victory today. Relying on these freshman starters that have been thrust into huge roles due to those injuries. It's hard to be a freshman starter, even if you're in your own position. And now we have these girls playing in positions that they are not used to, that maybe they have never even played before, and they are coming in and doing it at a high level in ACC. Yeah, he likes that they get the opportunity to compete, but told us straight up that Zaria harris Wadi would certainly not be starting in the middle if everyone is healthy. Said she's doing a great job learning every day and certainly seems like you can learn a lot by taking on a team like Pitt. And there go the Panthers, right side Blair Bayless. Yeah, speaking about freshmen, you'll see Blair get in today. She's gotten in a couple matches before and has really been proving herself coming in, dominating when she can. Bayless rated as the number 42 overall recruit in the class of 2023 by Prep Volleyball. And you know the team has depth when a top 50 recruit can't seem to find the court that much. Super incredible. Lots of options on this Pittsburgh team and the freshman class is superb. There's an ace for the Panthers off the service from Emmy Klicka. Emmy Klicka is a great libero. You see her back at the service line. That's something that she has been really working on. Um, we see here that she's one of the best passers in the country. She's a great defensive player and having a little bit of edge on her serve can really set her apart. And Syracuse able to get the point off the touch that time from the Panthers. I love that swing by Greta. She's obviously undersized. She's a DS playing in the front row against a tall, dominant pit block, and she just uses those hands to find a way. You ever seen something like that before? You know, not at 5'6". It, it is truly impressive. Um, we'll see a lot of balls go to her as well. We already have, and um, she does a great job recognizing, hey, I don't know if I can make a kill here. I'm going to keep us alive, stay patient in these rallies, maybe try to get Pitt out of system. And then when she sees a green light like those, she sees those high hands, she can get underneath and just kind of rip it high. So four-point lead now for the Panthers in set one. Alexis Akeo, the server. Quicka going to prop up Dalton. Now it is Schlichter again. Klicka dives, but unable to get there. Syracuse gets the point, and well, coach told us that she was thriving, especially for someone at 5'6 on the outside, putting it on display here. 
Yeah, she's almost looking like a beach player. That shot is hard to hit, and so she is just finding a way. It's super impressive. Love to see it. Schlichter early with two kills on a 400 hit percentage in this first set. Babcock. There she is, absolutely annihilating that swing on the outside, not in her typical position because of the rotation that they were in. She reaches high and crushes it cross court. Don't want to be in the way of that one. Absolutely not. <laughs> Kudos to Alyssa Bird for the attempt. But Olivia Babcock gets her second kill of the day. Panthers get a block to follow. Stafford and Monks were there. Slides are hard to stop anything behind in that fast, are really hard to set up, but Tori is dominant up there. She goes straight, and if she reads it, she's able to dive in, which is a hard move to make, but she's high enough up there, so she has enough time to hang and read. And the versatility of those pit freshmen, part of the reason that their defense has been so good this season as well. Pittsburgh tops in the country in blocks per set, and we talk so much about their ability on the attack and how talented Stafford and, and Babcock can swing, but also really impressive, as you noted, with Stafford's block as well. Absolutely. I love that decision by Syracuse Mira Setter to go right back to the slide after getting blocked. She runs it again, gives it to him. And looked like the serve might have gone deep, but it did graze. Looked like the head of Tori Stafford there. So Syracuse gets the ace. We'll get one more look. And sure enough. Yeah, we see there Tori thinking it's going to go out and unfortunately turned away too fast. Took her eye off the ball. So a three-point lead for Pittsburgh in set one. More to come from the Fitzgerald Fieldhouse right after this on the ACC Network. It's not like the good old days. It's not like the good, it's not not like like the good old days. days. Stop parroting everything. Instead, drink a Red Bull and think for yourselves. <laughs> Since when do you dictate what we do? Exactly. You're not the boss of us. Power to the people! Ah, well. Individuality often complicates things. Red Bull gives you wings. Around here, we like to keep things simple and honest. Sure do. That's why at Progressive, we show your rates from other companies, even if they're lower than ours, so you can choose what's best for your family. Comparing rates used to be a hard day's work, but not with AutoQuote Explorer. Need me to help again? No. So join us and taste why Progressive is the name people trust. Sorry, are we talking about apples now or insurance? <laughs> <laughs> why is that funny? Welcome back to Pittsburgh, where the number eight Panthers have a 14-11 lead over Syracuse in the first set. Before the break, talked about Pittsburgh's defense on the season. A number of different options at the net. Doing an excellent job in the blocking category. Puts Pitt number two in the country when it comes to opponent hit percentage. Right up near the top among some of the best defensive programs in college volleyball. Yeah, our block has been super dominant. But if it gets past the block, you see our defensive players back there ready to make the play. And one thing we talked about, too, pre-match today, Kayla, is the height on this pit team, and that certainly helps in that regard as well. Absolutely. Taller players, taller block, definitely harder to get around. And then when you combine that with a really dynamic move, it's hard to get by. Stafford that time for the Panthers gets her second kill on the afternoon. Puts Pitt up 16-11 here in set one as they try and settle in and find their rhythm. Syracuse... Doing a good job of hanging around here against a really high-level opponent in the Panthers. A little joust at the net there between Babcock and Antonio. Now Syracuse tries to salvage, but the Panthers get the point. Yeah, smart shot for Stafford to turn that line. She had both her blockers taking cross. Stafford able to see that. Great dig here by Lexus. Super scrappy. Stafford able to finish it. Well, great to see Lexus Akeo getting some time. Such an important piece of the Pitt Panthers' success over the last few seasons as the Orange try and find a way 
to cope with this deep Panther roster who's got a six point lead here in set one. Akeo is one of those players that we have seen her on the court so many years and just being absolute dominant. But this year with the with the depth that Pitt has, you see her sometimes getting on the court depending on maybe if they're running a 6-2, a 5-1, what kind of lineup that Pitt is working that game. And we see her getting out here today. She's a leader on and off the court. She's going to take and make the most of the opportunity that she has to get out there. Well, we asked Dan Fisher about his fans here in the city of Pittsburgh, how they've grown over the years with the success of the Pitt volleyball program. And he says it's still growing. Said the student section earlier this year against Oregon was as good as he's ever seen at the Fitz and really expects to get some good crowds the rest of the way, especially coming up on Friday night. Panthers are going to host Georgia Tech in a huge top 15 matchup against the Yellow Jackets and got Louisville at home later in November. And he wants everybody to come out for that one against the Cardinals. Absolutely. Those will be some tough matchups and the Pitt support will be huge for their program. Panthers playing a little bit in the Peterson Events Center, just a little bit down the hill here as well. In Oakland, campus for the University of Pittsburgh. There's Tori Stafford once again, unrelenting at the net. High IQ play for the freshman to notice that Syracuse freshman is setter, setter is front row. She goes to dump it on the first play. Syracuse digs it, but gives it right back to Stafford to get the kill. Stafford, the early kill leader in the match with four on 429 hitting. 18-11 is the Panther lead. Another block that time, Babcock and Wokolo. They're there again, and another Pittsburgh block for the point. Chiamaka and Babcock, hard to get by. They are tall, they are athletic, they are dynamic. They are two of the best blockers out there right now. They are tough to line up against. And we talk about Emma Monks directly impacted by the Bree Kelly injury, but Wokolo is another one who's had to step up for the Panthers. Absolutely. Stafford there again with Chiamaka to her right. And the Panthers certainly seem to be finding their groove late in set one. Yeah, they're showcasing their block that we've been talking about, their defense that we've been talking about. It's at a high level tonight. Forces another Syracuse timeout as the Panthers are up to a 6-0 scoring run. Again, Stafford has shined. Olivia Babcock has done really well. And that's been the story of the season for these Pitt Panthers. Tori Stafford and Olivia Babcock. And Kayla, one thing I also wanted to ask Coach Fisher about is how different that is because that's not what this Pitt team is used to. We saw the graphic in the open. A freshman has not led the team in kills since 2016. Now, you performed well in your freshman year, but even for you, it took a little bit of time. Absolutely. It took me at least half a season to kind of find my groove. And so... To have these freshmen come in at the caliber that they are and with Pitt being so good as they are now, to have freshmen come in and just come in smoothly, not skip a beat, has been super impressive. Stafford and Babcock have looked excellent right from the get-go. And as you alluded to, to consider the fact that they are joining a team that went to the Final Four last year and kept many of those pieces on the roster this season. So they are added into the mix for a team that was already great and made a deep run in the tournament. And this Pittsburgh team has the look of a group that could make a run again. Absolutely. Pitt's been looking to sustain the success that they have had and that Coach Fisher has built. And bringing in recruits like this is the exact way that they're going to want to do that. So Stafford and Babcock with four kills and two kills, respectively, early in this one today. Panthers as a team are hitting 471 on 17 total attacks so far today. This serve will come from the six foot four Emma Monks. And that's an ace for Monks. Her third ace of the season, third of the day for the pit team. Love that she was able to do that out of a timeout. Typically, coaches like to call a timeout not only to settle down their team, but also sometimes it's to ice the server. And so for her to come out of a timeout cold, have some time to think about it, and great, give a great service, tough to do. 
This time set to Antonio on the edge and couldn't keep it in. Panthers are in the point. I like the thought process of Antonio there. Syracuse uh, thought that maybe there was a touch on the block. Maybe there was a little bit of mistiming between Setter and Antonio. Antonio goes for the aggressive shove, deep line, looking for hands on the block or for it to fall into the court. Just misses, but I like the aggressive idea. Here's Antonio once more. Dalton gets a hand on it. Stafford laid out for it, and Syracuse, after eight consecutive pit points, gets the side out. Yeah, going back to Antonio, she gives it a good swing there. Love that she's using the pit block. Sometimes it's hard to get around, so you have to kind of readjust. Okay, if I can't get around it right now, how can I use this in order to get a kill? Mateo sets Babcock and converts. Babcock, a great line swing. She's a wrist away hand is what we call that, where she's maybe facing cross and then at the last second drops her hand to hit wrist away, able to hit that down the line. And off a nice set from Akeo, who we should note, by the way, Kayla has played pretty much this entire first set. And when there are so many great setters on this pit team, goes to show the depth in that position as well, that Akeo has stepped in and performed really well. Yeah, and here we have Haiti coming in as Pitt is running a 6-2 tonight. And so just to have a lot of setters to choose from, a lot of lineups to work through, um, is a great way that Pitt, no matter what situation they're in, they have different lineups that they can go to and players that they trust. You'll see Rachel Fairbanks and Haiti Tautuata, as you mentioned, Kayla. Tautuata, the freshman, also from Hawaii. Same state as Lexus Akeo, of course. Panthers with a nine-point lead here towards the end of set one. Antonia with her third ace. We knew that we would say her name a lot tonight in the attacking front, but she's really showing up in the service front as well. Bayless gets the kill that time for Pitt. Bayless, another freshman. We've talked about her already today. We will continue to talk about her today. She is such a dynamic player. When she comes in, she really proves herself that she deserves to be out there with a great swing hard cross. So per tradition, fans in the fits on their feet for a set point here. Serve from Logan Mosley. Schlichter blocked by the Panthers, but able to return and get the point from Veronica Searsant on that right side. Searson, who is playing on the right side right now, typically a setter, however, playing out of her position due to the injuries that have hit Syracuse this year. So another player that has had to step up in the face of adversity. Set point again, serve from Harris Wadi. Tal to uh -uh, to Bayless. Good for the Pittsburgh point, and they take the first set today. Going to Bayless, the front. Ready to begin set number two, Lexis Akeo, still the primary setter on the day for the Panthers, starts us off with the serve. And talked about that Pittsburgh height. There is a lot of it up at the net right now with the six foot five Dalton, six four Emma Monks, and the six five Olivia Babcock. That is a tough front line to get by. They are athletic, they are tall, they're up there, they're making good moves, forcing Syracuse to find a way to get around them. Antonio once again here, blocked by Babcock and Monks. Syracuse with a bit of an outside set, so a tough situation for Antonio. I like that she went for it, um, but the pit block, again, just too dynamic, too big to let her get past. Olivia Babcock, just over one block per set, her average on the season for Monks. 1.53 blocks per set on the year for her. That's second on the team. Chiamaka Wokolo is the leader in that category. Now, Ghana Sharatna, I'm having a chat with the official here after Pittsburgh took the 2-0 lead. That's Kurt Fulmer speaking with Coach Ghana Sharatna. Other referee today is Patricia Salvatore. Any idea what that might have been about? I'm maybe wondering if he thought that the pit players touched the net on it after. Again, another block. Pit leading with, I believe that is their eighth block so far today. Tough for Syracuse to get past. 
And the difference is right there. Syracuse with zero blocks so far on the match. And Dalton and Monks that time just too much. Leader Mueller sets back to Sears Ant. Now a KO to Stafford from the back into the net. I believe that's one of the first back row attacks that we've seen from Pitt so far. I think as they get going here in the set and get a little bit more settled in, we'll, we'll see them continue to run it. They've been using it a lot this year and it has been working. And if this match goes as we expect it to for Pitt, should get a lead here in set number two to go up to nothing and might start to see Dan Fisher and his team start to experiment a little bit. Absolutely. Antonio has to send it over. Akeo sending Dalton on the outside. And nice job by Burt to save it. And well placed by the Orange, they get their second point of the set. Yeah, like you said, well placed. That kind of awkward mix between the libero and middle back. A lot of times I like to call it that corner is where a lot of the points lie because it is that hard mix. It's a hard move to make. And so you see players running into each other. You see players letting it go and then it drops in. So it's a great spot to hit. After the injuries, Coach Ganesh Ratnam and the Orange certainly appreciate Alyssa Burt who got the dig there, grad student. Originally from Oklahoma City, started her college career at Colorado State. Three seasons there before coming to Syracuse. The Orange get their first block of the match right there on the right side to make it 3-3. Yeah, great block, great setup against Stafford. They were ready for her. Excuse me, against Olivia Babcock. And it was Zaria Harris-Wadi wearing 13 for Syracuse who notches the team's first block of the afternoon. Easy to confuse Babcock and Stafford. Their stats are essentially exactly the same. Both absolute studs. Great effort by Click on this point. Antonio blocked up front by Pitt. And Syracuse responds to take the lead. But Syracuse coming out of this first set with some fight in it. They're getting some fire. They're taking each play point by point. Any play that they have made, they have been loud at celebrating. Okay, we want to go back to another pre-match conversation we were having, talking about Babcock and Stafford. They've been so good that it makes you wonder, how is the ACC going to decide between these two when it comes to all-freshman team, freshman of the year? It seems impossible. It absolutely does. I would not want to be making that decision. I don't know how you choose. I don't know if you can choose, if you can do co, anything like that. I think I would have to go with co. They are just phenomenal athletes, phenomenal players, and they have just continued to show up weekend and game after game for Pitt. And part of what most people believe to be Dan Fisher's best recruiting class since taking this job at Pitt 11 years ago. Three straight appearances to at least the national quarterfinal. Another thing that's hard to believe, he's only won ACC Coach of the Year twice. Right? Just feels wrong, doesn't it? I might be biased, but I think he's pretty deserving. Yeah. <laughs> Hasn't won that award since 2018. Pitt has been a little bit out of sorts at the start of this set. And we saw it a little bit in the first set as well, but their passing has not been as strong as they are used to. So they're, they have been a little bit out of system, then creating a little bit out of rhythm. Hard to put plays together when you're out of system. Looks like the orange have challenged the last pit point. Doing a good job of staying right in this set so far at 5-5. Five, five. seem like that ball hit the court. So if that is what the Orange are challenging, I don't expect them to win it. And call has been confirmed. Didn't take long. Panthers keep the point. Yeah, an interesting challenge there, but great shots by our camera crew to make sure that we saw that that was up by Klicka. At 
Thanks to our crew, producer Sarah Johnson today. Director is Kevin Wheeler. As Syracuse takes the lead in set number two, six to five. So Panthers ultimately in the first set broke away and came out of that with a 10 point win. But the Orange doing a good job in both sets so far of keeping things tight early. Wokolo, crafty shot to get the point for Pitt. Yeah, super smart play there. Saw that maybe she wasn't loaded as fast as she wanted to be. Maybe a little bit of a miscue between her and Lexus. So to be able to adjust that fast is really hard to do. Not only did she adjust, but she found a way to get a kill out of it as well. Don't often see a miscommunication between those two. You do not. Those are veteran girls that have played together a couple years now. Babcock with a lot of fire on the serve for Pitt. And Rokolo and Akeo went up for the block. Panthers continue to rally. Stafford comes away with the kill. Yeah, that's a swing that you see just how high up she is. She doesn't have a full approach because of the kind of scramble out of system play, but she's able to elevate after a couple, maybe a one, two step and jump, turn it down the line, use the block. And just talked about the importance of playing on the international level. Stafford has done that as well. Actually the first pit volleyball recruit to represent Team USA as part of the youth national team. Service error that time gave the point to Syracuse to make it level at seven apiece. This time serve from Harris Wadi. And that one's deep. Panthers take it right back. Syracuse trying to limit those unforced errors. Coach Kanasharatnam said that those have plagued them at times throughout the season. If they can limit those, they'll be in pretty good shape, but have struggled to do that so far. This time they capitalize to even things up again in set two. Yeah, that was a hard, powerful swing off of Dalton block. Like we've mentioned throughout this set that Pitt has a huge block and so it's gonna be tough to get through it. So being able to use it, being able to hit their hands, their fingers, their forearms, whatever you can to get a kill is gonna be the way to do it. Tal Tua'a set to Dalton and popped up. Sears Ant, now back row attack from Antonio. Stafford back row on the other end. And now it's Dalton. Pittsburgh gets the point. Yeah, that was a bit of a longer rally that we've seen today. A lot of out of system play, a lot of scrapping, a lot of digging on both sides of the net. Emmy Klicka, the server. Was able to win the job at Libero last season for the Panthers after playing behind Ashley Browski for about a year and a half. Ann Fisher says she is the hardest worker on the team, has earned the job as the starter for Pittsburgh and sets up a point there. Absolutely, she is obviously a stud athlete, but she puts the time in in the gym every single day. She's the type of player that will be first one in, last one out, coming in in the mornings for extra reps. That's the kind of teammate and player that you want on your side. And I think when I asked Coach Fisher the question, implied that she was sitting back watching for the last couple years, and he said, let's make it clear, she was not just sitting there watching, she spent every day developing and working hard to get to the point she's at now. For sure. You know, she's also a really good player that does a lot of time um, at her house watching film or coming in and meeting with the coaches, watching film with them, asking questions, always making sure she's clear about what the coaches are expecting from her. So she continues to serve here as the Panthers have an 11-8 lead in set two. Dalton's attack is long and Syracuse gets the side out. Yeah, a bit of a break for Syracuse there. Dalton aiming for high hands in the out of system. Set just barely missed a little too high. Down to uh -uh. That time to Monks, no stopping that. Great pass by Dalton. After making an air and then immediately having to touch the next ball is 
is hard to do. It's a mental challenge. And so for her to step in there, have a great pass where High T was able to set up Monks. Great play. Again, Panthers getting everyone some time today. We have not seen a couple of the usuals in Valeria Vasquez Gomez and Rachel Fairbanks. Coach Fisher using this match against Syracuse to get a lot of different players' experience. Olivia Babcock, though, has been one of the regulars she converts there. Yeah, and that block with Monks is exactly why. Bit of an offset for Syracuse, so Antonio taking a swing from a couple feet off, but the block is there. Panthers lead 13-9. Fans love that score. They lead the match. It's not like the good old days. It's not like the good old days. It's not like the good, it's not like like the good, good old, old days. days. Stop parroting everything. Instead, drink a Red Bull and think for yourselves. <laughs> Since when do you dictate what we do? Exactly. You're not the boss of us. Power to the people! Ah, well. Individuality often complicates things. Red Bull gives you wings. Your first home sees a lot of firsts. From first loves <laughs> to first steps. Sure, it can be a handful at times, keeping you up at night. Come on now. But with help from the Home Depot, Thank you very much. you'll find the confidence to create the first place you call your own. The Home Depot, how doers get more done. The Panthers with a 13 to nine lead in set two. Took the first set 25-15 over Syracuse here in Pittsburgh today. Panthers coming in as the number eight team in the country so far taking care of business. You see Valeria Vasquez Gomez and Rachel Fairbanks there. They've had Fairly easy day, watching from the side so far, haven't gotten any time, but don't be fooled, their impact has been felt all year for this Panther team, especially Fairbanks coming off a season high 36 assists Friday night in the win over Boston College. Absolutely, two dominant and really great players that Pitt typically depends on. Getting a little bit of, bit of a break today, rest in the legs, I'm sure we'll see them again pretty soon here. And Panthers Absolutely going to need them Friday when they take on Georgia Tech. First of two ACC matches next weekend for Pitt. They'll also take on Clemson. That is in this building on Sunday the 8th. This time, Klicka over to Dalton. And Syracuse will get the point. It was long from Juliana Dalton. Another great rally there. I saw two great libero plays by both Syracuse and Pitt liberos coming in, whether it was a cover, whether it was a great dig, keeping the rallies alive. Important to give credit to the liberos. They don't always get the appreciation they deserve. They do not, and they deserve a lot more. A KO to Babcock. Now Antonio, uncomfortable spot for her. Didn't get it over the net. Panthers get the point. Yeah, I like her decision to go for it. Again, this sets it just a bit off the net for her to really have great range for her to see the block. When it's that far off, it's tough to see the court. All you can really see is look up at the ball. You can't see the hands of the opposing players. You can't see the court lines well. You just kind of have to get a feel for where you are and how much space you have. So if they can get her a little bit tighter, let her have better vision, let her get a better approach into it, I think we'll see some better swings come out of it. And Ghana Sharatnam wants to talk more about that last play. I think he might be saying that the Panthers touched the net. I believe so. Either touched the net or maybe even challenging that they touched the ball. And it came off the attack from Antonio. Once again, wasn't set where Antonio would typically like it. Had to step back and maneuver to get that ball up there and it looks to me as though it could have touched the yeah. net first and then went off the forearms of the pit players. And I think the officials initially thought it hit the net and came right back. I believe so. So essentially the point probably should have continued there and they whistled it dead. Yes. A valid argument here from Ganesh Ratnam. Absolutely. It's a tough, it's a tough swing. 
Syracuse gets the cover, so the play should absolutely be alive if they call the touch. With a big block up like that, sometimes it's hard for them not to touch it. Yeah. <laughs> It was Emma Monks and Juliana Dalton on that one. Again, would be big for Syracuse if they can earn the point and hang around in this second set. And well, the referee is certainly taking longer with this one than the last Syracuse challenge. Another great look from our crew here. And we'll zoom in on Monks and Dalton. And it does look like it hits them right after it grazes the top of the netting. I would call touch here. We'll see what the refs end up doing. But you see really with that close up too, just how high up the pit block is for that ball to be touching about their elbows and having their full head above the net. Ref called replay there. So there was a touch on the pit block. Yep, so a worthy challenge from Bakir Ganesharatnam and the orange will replay the point. And certainly did seem to be touched there by Monks and Juliana Dahl. So the orange retained the challenge since they got it right. Yeah, if you're Syracuse looking at the score now, that it does make a difference. It makes a difference mentally, emotionally, just to be able to get that one point back. Gives you a little bit extra fire. So the Orange stay within two here, middle of the second set. Monks comes out and gets the kill for Pitt. Love the pass, set, kill. That is just clean volleyball. It is fast, it is aggressive, it's hard to stop. And that is exactly how you draw it up for the Panthers. A KO with the perfect set to Monks and the execution and the delivery. Love the power that we've been seeing from Monks. We know that she's tall. We know that she's high up. But for her to be able to load her arm fast enough is something that she's really been working on. So to generate that power. Third kill of the match for Emma Monks. Eight assists today from Lexis Akeo as the Panthers add one more. I believe Pitt decided to triple block that, just adding to their block impressiveness. Stafford going since seeing that it's an out of system set going and making sure that there's no room to get by any of them. Antonio goes cross court, ended up with Logan Mosley. And Panthers get the point once again. Syracuse has been setting Antonio a ton with 25 total attacks on the match, but Pittsburgh able to get their third consecutive point there. You mentioned Logan coming in. She's been another player that is able to come off the bench and make a difference right away. She is a stud DS libero. She comes in with a great serve and is able to make a difference for her team no matter what position they have her in. So Coach Ganesharatnam sees things starting to get out of hand once again as the Panthers have taken a six-point lead and he will take a Syracuse timeout. 4-0 scoring run by the Panthers over the course of the last few points. They've now got five different players with at least three kills on the night. They are continuing their dominant stretch that they've had over the course of the last few matches. They did suffer two losses in non-conference play against BYU and Oregon, but have swept each of the last six. And you see the drastic contrast in their hit percentage as opposed to their opponents. Yeah, it's those numbers are great numbers to have. To have your own hitting percentage be that high, it, you would look at them and say, absolutely, that's why they're sweeping everybody. And then you look at their opponent hitting percentage, and it just adds to that fact of why they truly have been dominating in all fronts of the game. 293 hit percentage on the season for the Panthers, top three in the conference. And James Madison, High Point, UMBC were the last three in their non-conference slate. But they have carried their groove right in to the ACC, dancing right along to a flawless conference performance so far. 
girls loving the action from the pit band. <laughs> As a previous player, I can say that the pit band truly does make a difference in the field house. They bring energy. You see the girls are loving it. They're dancing with them, and it brings a lot of fire. Yeah, especially when you have the trumpets too, right? Trumpets are crucial. Critical part of that pit band, and the band itself, a key piece of pit volleyball's success in their home success in this era under Dan Fisher. Good effort by Mosley. Klicka from the floor keeps it alive. And Babcock and Monks tried to finish it off, but Syracuse does get the point. And we just talked about Emmy Klicka as the hardest worker on the team. There's an example of it. Yeah, love the touch from Mosley. You're taught in volleyball that if you can just get a touch on it, even if it's a couple inches off the floor, if it's up, it's up. Really smart play by Antonio here. Talked about it all night, but using the block to her advantage. Great set to Monks and another Pittsburgh kill. Akeo with the one-handed set to the grad student, the Michigan State transfer. We've been talking a lot about the pins for Pitt tonight, but being able to see how much we're getting the middles involved is really important as well. After that save from Klicka, this building would have exploded if the Panthers got that point. Absolutely. You love to see plays like that in volleyball. It's what keeps it exciting. It's, it's fun to watch, and so scrappy plays like that are hard to do. Panthers still with a fairly comfortable six-point lead here in the second set. And that time the Orange go to Sears Ant on the left side for the kill. Smart play, sneaking that one right in front of the block. So when you see that that happens, maybe the block is a little bit trailing. Maybe they are maybe just a, a split second too late. And so when the ball comes down in front of you like that, um, your hands aren't all the way pressed over. And we saw that there. Another service error from the Orange that time. Pitt now six points away from taking a 2-0 lead in the match. Olivia Babcock to serve. She's got 12 aces on the season. A lot of juice behind that one. From the back row, Antonio executes. Yeah, Babcock has a great topspin serve. It's fun to see in the women's game. You see it predominantly in the men's game because they're just able to absolutely rip it. But you see that with Olivia as well. She has a great arm. She's from a high point, and she goes up there and has the green light from coach to rip it. I mentioned Babcock 12 on the season. Actually added one today. Gives her 13 on the year, which is second on this Pittsburgh team, only trailing Valeria Vasquez-Gomez. There's the freshman Bayless again. Now to the outside for Schlichter, who gets the kill. Greta Schlichter with her third of the match. Yeah, smart swing by Schlichter. We know that she's undersized. We know that she's not in her typical position. She's just finding ways to get kills, to, to hit them in the back corners, to find zones where people are not covered. Yeah, really impressive stuff from the five foot six Schlichter from Germany. 19-15, Orange continue to stay around here in set two, and they get the service ace. You can see the frustration on that one from Emmy Klicka. Hey, we see Syracuse targeting Stafford all afternoon here, and so Klicka trying to cover her, outs her outside, who's currently hitting on the right side, but trying to cover her so that she can get out of the way. Unfortunately, just a little bit of a miscommunication. And Stafford that time with a great response. Gain the serve back for the Panthers with a four-point lead. Cat Flood coming into the game. Going to try to make her mark. She's been on the court many times before. Most of you and the fans know her has the stealth server. She goes back there. She has a great serve, especially in clutch situations. Getting some time up in the front row today. Flood with 16 aces last season. You said it. Known for her serving specialties. Another back row attempt from Antonio. And they've gone to her in that back row a ton today, especially in this set. Absolutely. They love using her in the back row, front row, especially if the pass is maybe a little bit off the net. It's a little bit easier to throw it up to her in the back row and let her try to go at it. And 
Antonio with 30 attacks on the match. The next most from a Syracuse player is Schlichter and Harris Wadi with nine each. Another great block by Pitt. Showing off the depth of Pitt, Cat Flood coming in and making a difference right away, setting up a great block for Wokolo to come close to her and both of them get that stuff locked together. So now the Panthers with a run of their own. They've scored the last three points of the set and Syracuse sides out off the fingertips of Klicka. Once again, Klicka covering there for Stafford. Saw it on the previous play a couple points ago and does it again once more, but Syracuse earns the point again. Yeah, Syracuse forcing an overpass there. Their plan for Pitt serve receive is definitely working, giving them a little bit of trouble. Tau Tua'a sets Bayless. Another one, this time Wokolo, yes. Tatua spreading her offense great. It's tough to read when you get a free ball sent like that, and we have so many great hitters up in the front row, you don't know who they can set. Freshman setter going to the fifth year veteran. Yeah, Tau Tua uh, certainly dangerous, excited to see what she can do in a pit uniform, the six foot freshman setter from Hawaii. And Bayless on the outside, Blair Bayless with her fifth kill of the match gives Pittsburgh another set point. Yeah, Bayless, you watch her out there and you just, it's amazing that you don't think that she would be a starting player but I don't know how Fish makes the decisions because all of these girls are so talented. Fitz on its feet again. Antonio from the back, too much on it. Panthers take set number jokes on the side. Not to be happy about if you're Pitt right now. Babcock fires up a kill to start set three. That's definitely a way that you want to come out after that couple minute break. This is a must win situation for Syracuse. So if you're Pitt, you do not want to give them the opportunity to do so. Mentioned Cat Flood came on late in the second set. She stays on and serves here for the Panthers. That is her area of expertise. Puts it on display there, causes a problem for the Orange. Yeah, Pitt's culture talks a lot about bringing girls in off the bench and just making one play, touching the ball one time. What a difference that that can make. We've seen Kat has, has done it many, many times throughout her career, come in and make a big difference in her service game. That is her second ace of the season this year. Crafty shot from the orange leader Mueller, but the Panthers able to keep things alive. Akeo sets Tori Stafford converts. Yeah, great play by Syracuse to keep the ball alive for a little bit, running slides, which is great to open up offense. But at the end of the day, Pitt with the kill and a great, great pancake there by Akeo. And gotta say again, Lexis Akeo, maybe not the primary option at setter this season. She's looked great today. Absolutely. You know, it's tough when you're when you're older and maybe not in your normal situation that you're used to, maybe not getting the starts that you're used to starting. But she's really being mature about the situation and saying, I will get out there when I need to get out there. And when I have that opportunity, I will absolutely prove myself and make the most of it. Kao's work propelling the Panthers to a 4 nothing lead to start set three. And that's maybe the one thing we haven't seen from the Panthers today is getting out to a hot start at the beginning of sets. They are doing that here in the third. Now Babcock again. Oh, yes. We have Stafford and Babcock on the pins right now. You can take your pick, whoever you want to set. It's almost a guaranteed kill today. Babcock with six kills, 417 hitting for her. Well done by Antonio to get Syracuse its first point of the set. Yeah, great high swing by Antonio using maybe some of the blocker's fingertips. And so Flood made a last minute move to get, try to get a touch defensively. Fortunately, just too high. The 
once again. They go to Stafford on the serve. Babcock. And Leader Mueller tried to tap it over, but didn't get enough on it for the Panther point. Yeah, we saw Leader Mueller get a bit turned around there. It's a hard play to make. She tried to tip it over. Getting turned around, trying to find the ball. It's a high dig. The lights are bright. Just a little lost. New to the contest, Rachel Jepson. Talked about her pre-match, Kayla. Haven't seen too much of her this season just because of the Panther depth, but she gets an attempt here against Syracuse in the third set. Yeah, it'll be great to see what she can do against Syracuse here today. Here's Stafford with another Pittsburgh kill, her eighth of the match. And things getting away from Syracuse maybe a little bit quicker in this third set, and the Panthers lead it 7-1 to one on their way to what would be a 4-0 ACC record. A senior mayor with this tower, I will make Pisa world famous. And you... Yeah, hey, you can see towers like this in Rome, in Venice, in Florence. But these ones round. No, I don't know. Maybe a red bull will help you see it from a different slant. Yes. I got it! We'll build it like this. Perfecto! Red Bull gives you wings. Well, it's been just about all pit today here in Oakland. Panthers with a 7-1 lead in the third set. Haven't even used Valeria Vasquez Gomez or Rachel Fairbanks. Two big pieces on their team throughout the season. And getting plenty of different players some time have used 12 different options here today in the match against Syracuse which they now have a 2-0 lead the latest of those options is Rachel Jepson to check in wearing six for the Panthers last played against High Point on September 17th but we saw some really bright moments from her last year as well and certainly seems to have a future in the middle for Pitt absolutely you see her coming in taking an aggressive swing right away the American match in particular last season. She had six blocks, which was the most by a Pitt true freshman since Sabrina Starks in 2018. There's a long list of legends in this Pitt volleyball program. I'm sitting next to one of them when you think about what the last five, six, seven years. Yeah, to have um, a blocking stat line with Sabrina Starks, she's one of the best blockers that we have had in this program. But after this year, these pit blockers are going to set a lot of new records. There's one of them there, Emma Monks, tried to keep that ball in the air, but Syracuse instead gets its second point of this third set. And the band is as energetic as ever. In spite of the 9-2 lead, they are unrelenting here at the Fitz. Akeo sets to Jepson. Love the decision of Akeo to go to Jepson right here. We know Jepson just came in this set. Akeo trusts her and gives her the ball. And so Lexis Akeo gets her 15th assist of the match for the Panthers. Rachel Jepson with two quick kills. And Akeo gets a well-deserved rest. And Haiti Tautua'a comes in to serve, and it's a good one right at Searsant, and she gets the ace. Yeah, high aggressive serve from high T. Those ones are tough to pass when they're coming a bit high at you. You don't know maybe if you should move out of the way, put your hands up, take it with your platform. It's a great aggressive serve. And that time too much from Tao Tua'a. time. Bayless on the outside. That's good. Pass from Stafford. Freshman set from high T. Freshman sent it out to Bayless. Another freshman for the kill. 
And with that, Claire Bayless now matches her season high with six kills. She's done that twice already on the year. And look at the elevation from the freshman. Really good leap from her. Puts the Panthers up nine. That time, Cat Flood executes. Cat Flood, a great leader on this team, coming in and getting a kill. She's cool, comfortable out there, acting like she's out there all the time, confident. So a 10-point lead for the Panthers. Break it down for us here, Kayla. So we see High T with a great set. We see Syracuse with a split in the block. That just is meaning that High T is uh, doing a great job not showing where she's going to set. And so Syracuse block, maybe just a split second late because High T has so many options that she could run it to. Kat sees that hole, absolutely goes for it. So many options is a good way to put it. A lot of differences between these two teams. Pittsburgh has the most wins of any team in the conference so far this year. Syracuse on the other end of the spectrum with only two wins on the season. But the depth is the key difference between these two programs. Panthers have displayed so many different weapons today. And Syracuse, as we've talked about throughout the match, dealing with so many injuries and having to cope with those challenges. And makes it very tough to play on the road against the number eight team in college volleyball. Yeah, tough environment to come into. Syracuse holding on. Pitt just too strong today, using all the depth that they have, like you mentioned. Emma Monks with seven blocks on the day. <laughs> Talk about it again, Kayla. This Pittsburgh team defensively, I mean, look at the contributions across the board. It's incredible. Yeah, this is definitely the best defensive team that Pittsburgh has ever had. Not only best in Pitt history, but in the best in the country. Yeah, it seems like we're using the phrase best ever in a lot of different fashions for this Pitt team. Yeah, this is an exciting Pitt team to watch. They're setting new heights. Talking about best recruiting class, best defensive team, best freshman. There's a whole lot of accolades and things to watch with this Pittsburgh group here that Dan Fisher has in 2023. They do lead the country in blocks per set. And they've got 14 of them today here against Syracuse. Jepson soaring through the middle again. Yeah, Jepson has a powerful arm. And so if you set it up to her, she jumps high. She loads that arm and she can hit that. Three kills for Jepson, the sophomore from Utah. And the Panthers are in full control of this third set. Click of the pancake. Flood knocks it over. And point goes to the Panthers. Yeah, that play, you'll have to give that to your libero. You point to her and just say, what a great up. That was a great tip right over the block out of the reach, but Klicka comes flying in, getting her hand under that. Pancake, always a big momentum shifting play. Is that right? Absolutely. They're hard. They are hard to do. And so when you get one, uh, they're pretty fun. You know, you can practice them. We try to replicate them in practice. But when you get a, an, orga an organic one in the game, it it tastes better. <laughs> See what you did there? Thank you. <laughs> Flicko with the pancake that time. Saw Alexis Akeo with a good one earlier today in the match. Now to Wa'a, uh, to Bayless. And good dig from Syracuse. Joust at the top, and Pitt gets the better of it. Great contributions from Rachel Jepson and Emmy Klicka. And another new Panther to enter is Dylan Griffin, the sophomore from Foothill Ranch, California. Speaking of California, ask Dan Fisher about how he can recruit so well on the opposite side of the country. And he said, well, it's easy. Everybody just wants to be like Kayla Lund. <laughs> 
Well, luckily through my recruiting process with Coach Dan being from California, I had a lot of trust in him that he was able to leave California, leave his family, and come and find a home here. And so when you have somebody like that leading the way, it's just a bit of a trickle effect. Tori Stafford, Olivia Babcock, the two freshmen that we've talked so much about for the Panthers, also both from the state of California. Now an 18 to four Panther lead. What an impressive set from this Pittsburgh team. And Kayla, have a feeling if you're Dan Fisher, this is exactly what you want to see going into a tough battle Friday against Georgia Tech. Absolutely. Sometimes um, your matches before a game big game coming up you don't want to look too far ahead but you are looking at different pieces different lineups that can work things that worked well today that will hopefully work again in your next matchup set to Bayless Bayless gets the kill and sets a new season high with another one for the Panthers to make it 20 to 4 and that is 8 on the day for the freshman Griffin continues to serve, wearing 16 in blue for Pitt. Leader Mueller sets. Stafford continues to answer for the Panthers. And Flood gets another attack to work, and the Panthers increase the lead to 17 points in the third set. Yeah, great swing by Syracuse Antonio in the back row. Stafford able to just sit there and take it. Pitt finds a way. A lot of velocity on a couple of those Syracuse attacks, but Stafford with a really well done job in the back row. Let's see that defense from Stafford one more time. Yeah, great dig. She doesn't have to make a huge move for it, but she gets her arms out in the, with enough time for it to get up. Just a double called on high T. It was a bit of a low pass. High T tried to get under it with her hands. Just came out a little bit shaky. It happens. I appreciated the fun fact. You told me about Heidi's shoe size <laughs> going into today's match. What is it again? I believe the girls told me that it is a 13 in men's. <laughs> and so if you take a look at her hands and her feet, she is built like just an amazing, amazing setter. Her strength in her hands to be able to push the ball wherever she needs from anywhere on the court is truly impressive. Dan Fisher very excited about what she's going to bring to this program. Talked about how she continues a strong line of Hawaiian setters at Pitt. One of the best setters coming from the state of Hawaii. Strong all-around player who they see with an ability to hit as well when needed. Of course, that Hawaiian line of setters includes Kamalani Akeo, her younger sister Lexis, and now Tautua'a contributing in the assist category for Pittsburgh. There's Kamalani. Now on staff as an assistant coach for the Panthers. Younger sister Lexis at the service line as the Panthers two points away from clinching their fourth straight ACC win to start the season. Mikeo kept flood on the left side. Orange trying to answer. Can't get it over the net. Panthers with match point in their fourth ACC battle of the season. Lexis Akeo, 15 assists on the day. She serves for the win. Antonio's attack is long, and Pittsburgh wins the third set 25-6 in dominant fashion, and the Panthers are looking hot.